Welcome back to Rebel Health. I'm Dr. Ellen Vora, a holistic psychiatrist based in New York City, and I want to quickly touch upon baby sleep. Uh, I'm in a very active mom group, and there's always questions and concerns about how do you get your baby to sleep through the night or to recognize this is nighttime and that's daytime. And one little appreciated aspect of this whole thing is darkness at night. See, babies go to sleep earlier than the rest of us. They're going to sleep at 7, 7.30, maybe 8 o'clock and our adult lives, we still have all the lights on. And then if the baby's crying and you wanna go in there to respond, a lot of people go into the baby's room and turn on a light, or maybe they're nursing in the middle of the night and they want to, they're bored and so they start to look at their phone. And just recognize that all of these different lights will start to give the baby signals that this is daytime. Right, so their circadian rhythm is still very intact and when they see light, that cues their brain to think the sun is rising and it's time to be awake. So this is gonna condition them to actually continue to wake up at these times in the middle of the night. So instead, if you're gonna respond to baby overnight, make sure that all they see is darkness. Do what you have to do, but do it without light. And if you absolutely must create some kind of light, try a candle. Light a little candle, be safe, don't cause a fire. Um, but light a candle because that's the kind of light that we evolved seeing after sunset so it's not going to confuse your circadian rhythm. Hope that's helpful in getting your babies to sleep through the night and to not confuse day and night and we'll see you next time on Rebel Health.